Hey there, viewers. A good smile says a lot about your personality. You get a ton of compliments when you have good looking teeth. Your teeth help you chew food, speak clearly and make you look good. Believe it or not, those pearly whites are also a mirror to your overall health. In today's video, we're going to give you simple tips and tricks for a healthy mouth. Do you brush before bed? What kind of toothpaste do you use? Are you drinking too much soda? We're talking about all of that and more. Number one, don't sleep without brushing. We've all heard you need to brush twice daily, but how often do you actually follow through and do it? Germs and food collect on your gums as the days go on. You need to get rid of it before you sleep. After dinner, germs in your mouth go crazy on all the acids and foods on your teeth. These germs and microorganisms create holes in your teeth called cavities. If you don't stop it, it can lead to tooth decay and inflamed gums. Day brushing is important, but when you brush at night, you've signified you're no longer eating for the rest of the day and you're giving your teeth a rest. This means no midnight snacking. How many times do you brush in a day? Sound off in the comments section and stay connected with our ever-growing bestie community. Number two, correct brushing. Have you ever wondered whether you're brushing correctly or not? Many of us aren't. Use a soft bristled brush and go in gentle, small circles on your back teeth. As for your front teeth, brush in a vertical direction. Do this for two minutes. People often go to and fro on their teeth, which is not a good method for cleaning. As the saying goes, you don't need to brush all your teeth, just the ones you wanna keep. As for the types of brushes, a soft brush will go easy on your teeth. Don't use one with hard bristles unless your doctor tells you to. Electric brushes can help you up your oral hygiene game. Many brushes come with pressure indicators that stop you from brushing too hard. This can keep your gums from getting damaged. Excessive enamel wear due to hard brushing can also be avoided. Some brushes have built-in timers that ensure you brush for the whole two minutes. Make sure you change your brush regularly. You should replace your toothbrush every three months. If you're noticing that your bristles are too bent, you may have to replace it earlier. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number three, use an anti-cavity toothpaste. There are hundreds of types of toothpaste you can get. Just make sure your toothpaste has a specific chemical called fluoride. This is an absolute showstopper. Fluoride is a powerful chemical that stops microorganisms from forming cavities. There may also be additional benefits in your toothpaste, like teeth whiteners and pleasant flavors. But as long as there's fluoride, you're good. Fluoride lays an invisible layer of protection over your teeth, which safeguards them from cavities. Studies have shown that using fluoride can prevent cavities much better than brushing and flossing. If your water supply is fluoride deficient, you might see white, frosty patches on your teeth. This indicates fluorosis, which requires you to immediately up your fluoride level. The first step towards this is using a fluoride-rich toothpaste. If possible, try leaving the toothpaste in your mouth. Don't rinse it off with water, just spit it out without swallowing. This will allow the fluoride to stay a little longer on your teeth. Number four, clean your tongue. Your tongue harbors a ton of microorganisms. It's the perfect hiding place for bad bacteria. Rotten food and microorganisms hide in the tiny crevices. Over time, your breath will start to smell. This is why it's good to use a tongue cleaner. If you're comfortable using the back end of your brush, you can scrape your tongue lightly with that. Cleaning your tongue will clean your taste buds, which might make you taste things better. And that's a bonus. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn about the 19 signs you are suffering from calcium deficiency. Number five, floss like a boss. We know this must be the millionth time you've heard about flossing. The importance of flossing should never be dismissed. Wind floss around your fingers and make your way gently between two teeth. Don't floss too hard, it might cause lacerations and bleeding. Flossing helps get rid of the plaque stuck between the corners of your teeth. This removes those nasty chunks of broccoli. Gentle stimulation of the gums can reduce inflammation and keep away bad breath. Consider this as a relaxing massage for your gums. It's recommended you floss at least once daily. Flossing is as important as brushing. If you're new to flossing, start with ready-to-use dental floss from the drugstore. You can also try the water flosser, which has revolutionized manual flossing altogether. Number six, use the correct mouthwash. Your dentist will recommend mouthwash according to your needs. There are mouthwashes meant to remove plaque, maintain acidity in your mouth, reduce sensitivity around the gums, and even remineralize your teeth. 
It's a blend of antibacterial agents and essential oils that leave a refreshing aftertaste. Children and elderly who are unable to brush properly have more use for mouthwash than others. But this doesn't mean brushing and flossing are less important. Number 7. Drink more water. Water is the best drink ever. Are you having too much soda and juice? You may say no, but your teeth tell a different story. Soda and juice make your mouth more acidic, while also giving you excess sugar. If you're not guzzling down water with every meal, try some green tea. Or fill a tall glass with ice cubes. Add lemon slices, cucumbers, or mints for a fresh summer drink. Water will keep you hydrated and prevent dry mouth. A dry mouth is more vulnerable to cavities. If you're a mouth breather, you'll have a dry mouth. Number 8. Go to the dentist. Taking a trip to the dentist office has always been scary. Make a point to visit them every six months. It doesn't matter if you have dental problems or not. Your dentist will remove the hardened tartar you can't get to. Don't miss this tooth cleaning. Other oral conditions like gum disease and cancer can be checked by your dentist. Number 9. Watch what you eat. It's hard to resist chocolates, cookies, pudding, cake, and ice cream. But what you eat will stick to the gaps of your teeth. Sticky candy is especially notorious for this. Studies show lowering your sugar intake by just 5% of your daily calorie count can drastically reduce your risk of cavities. If you're a fan of other sticky foods like chips, bread, and pasta, your teeth will be at double the risk. These foods linger in your mouth for a long time, making it much more acidic. Bacteria will soon multiply. Instead, have some fiber-rich fruit and vegetables. You can eat dairy products without added sugars. Sugar-free snacks are gaining popularity. Sugar-free gum can help as well. If you love ready-to-eat foods, it's time to stop. Don't cut fruit into small pieces. Just bite into the whole fruit and get those jaws working. This will stimulate your teeth and keep them strong. Number 10. Stay away from foods that stain your teeth. Things like tea, coffee, and wine are bound to make your teeth dull. The colored pigments in these foods settle on the outer surfaces of your teeth. They can lose their natural brightness. Smoking also puts tartar on the tooth and gum surface. It can also make your lips darken, stink up your breath, and yellow your teeth. Number 11. Keep mints and breath sprays handy. Bad breath is the most common oral problem. It's embarrassing and gross. Keep mints and breath spray around if you're out. Just know these are products that just mask the foul smell. If you want to address the problem from its root, you have to do everything else we've talked about. Number 12. Face Yoga Sound strange? <laughs> Let me explain. Face Yoga is a natural face sculptor that increases blood circulation in and around your mouth. Those of you wanting to look younger can try Face Yoga. This gives you a sharp jawline, healthy gums, and good lips. Remember, if you take care of your teeth now, they'll take care of you in the long run. Many people won't have perfectly aligned teeth, but it doesn't make you any less attractive. A carefree smile is the best smile. Let's take a look at a couple more videos. Calcium is important to your teeth and bones. Watch and learn about 11 calcium-rich foods you need to eat daily. Are you lactose intolerant? Are you wondering about how to level up on calcium? Then watch 19 dairy-free calcium sources you need to know about. Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to become healthier. Do you struggle with your oral hygiene? Let us know in the comments below.